you've said in the past that you probably should have been kicked off the UNC team several times, but Coach Smith never gave up on you. Now that you are a coach, how hard is it to get through to certain players? Well, when I, when I was an assistant coach for Kevin Stallings, um, I used to tell him, Coach, I'm going to be able to reach every kid when I'm a head coach. And he said, King, you're going to have a lonely time being a head coach if you think you'll reach every kid. And I thought that way because I truly felt Coach Smith would reach all of us and everybody on the team from the managers to the coaches to the players to the star guys to the walk-ons. And he truly connected with each and every one of us. And it's, it's a hard thing to do. Um, it, it's a hard age that we deal with, 18 to 22. And Coach was the best at understanding that we were kids and that we were going to do some things that we probably shouldn't have done, but that usually we were good young men and it was his responsibility and he wanted to help us grow and to become good men. Clearly he did that with you. So when you think back to your time playing for Coach Smith, is there a moment that stands out above the rest? Well, there was a bunch of them. Uh, when, I, when I first got to Chapel Hill, I didn't do very well in school my first semester. And uh, Coach Smith brought me in and he explained to me how important it was to me when I was in high school to get a college degree and how important it was for my family for me to graduate from Carolina. And just a short time later, after being there for two or three months, I, I was not following what I told him I was going to do. And very nicely, he never raised his voice during this meeting, but he asked me if he needed to send me back to Binghamton. And that's when I started crying. And I said, no, coach, you do not need to send me home. I promise you I'll start doing better in school. And from that day forward, I started doing better in my, my schoolwork.